So basically, the Olaf pills are the uh, Olaf pills uh, basically plays an important role in the purpose of uh, creating the reports uh, for uh, uh, for analyzing how the business is running. So for the creation of the reports, there are uh, uh, three types of uh, reporting tools are there. There are three types of uh, reporting tools are there. One is uh, like a, OLA, uh, a relational OLAP. We have a relational OLAP. Uh, just a second, huh? just a second. So these are all the OLTP systems uh, that we have. Yes, uh, we load the data into the OLAP. Uh, when I say OLAP, it's nothing but a data warehouse. Okay. So this is called as a OLAP database uh, or the data warehouse we can call. And uh, when you perform in the reporting, we use a different uh, reporting tools. We use different uh, reporting tools. Uh, I mean, different OLAP tools we have. So the OLAP tools uh, basically they are divided into three types. One is a relational OLAP relational OLAP so we have a multi-dimensional OLAP and you have a, uh, and you have a H OLAP hybrid uh, hybrid OLAP so what is this uh, relational OLAP tool? So we have some uh, relational OLAP tools uh, uh, that are present like uh, SAP BO yes, uh, or uh, Hyperion. Okay, or uh, OVA double E. So these are all the re uh, relational OLAP tools. Uh, so what happens with these relational OLAP tools is that whenever the business user generates the reports within the relational OLAP tools. So the tool is going to query the data from the database and uh, represents the data in the form of reports. In the form of reports, it will represent the data. So it will instantaneously, it reads the data. So when you, uh, when you, when you create a report, when you hit a report, uh, it reads the data instantaneously from the data warehouse or the OLAP database. So whenever the business user clicks on the report, the select statement will be fine. Okay. A select uh, uh, statement will be fired on this uh, database. So when you create a report, when you create a report, a select statement will be fired on this uh, uh, R, uh, on this OLAP database, and uh, it selects the data instantaneously. It selects the data instantaneously and returns the data in the form of report. But uh, when you talk about the multi-dimensional OLAP tools, when you talk about the multi-dimensional OLAP tools, here the process is uh, quite different. The process is uh, quite different here. Means what happens here? So, whenever you create, uh, uh, whenever you wanted to create a report uh, based on the MOLAP uh, uh, multi-dimensional OLAP tools, so here you have a concept called as a cube. You have a concept called as cube. Means first of all, these cubes are nothing but they are the data processing units. They are the these cubes are nothing but they are the data processing units. They are, they are the data processing uh, units uh, where the data will be present. It's a kind of uh, it's a file. It's a MDC file. It's a MDC file that you have. Uh, so here, when you when you want to create a report based on the MOLAP tool, what happens is that we first uh, move the da uh, we first uh, load the data into the cubes. We first load the data into the cubes. So while you want it, while you are uh, creating the cubes, so we select all the 
uh, we select all the data that is required to required for the, for the reporting. We select the data from the OLAP database and we keep the data in the queues. So when you create a report uh, uh, from in the MOLAP server or the MOLAP tool, the report will be report generation will be done from the queue. The report generation will be done from the queue. Since the data is already aggregated and present within the queue, so the report generation will be easy here. So queues are nothing but uh, here we have the data in a 3D format. So when you talk about uh, uh, the table, table is something which contains the data in the form of rows and columns. It's a 2D represent in the queues. It will be easy for the reporting uh, from from by fetching the data from the queue and the end user will be highly beneficial and it is very fast uh, whereas the OLAP tools uh, will query the data instantaneously from the OLAP database. So there is a difference that you have it. So for example, uh, you have Cognos, uh, you have uh, uh, Cognos is the multi-dimensional OLAP tool, you have S-Base, uh, so this is uh, this is one of the multi-dimensional OLAP tools. So but uh, the disadvantage is you need a separate servers for uh, building these cubes. We need a separate uh, workstation, separate uh, physical server for this uh, uh, multi uh, for this uh, MOLAP uh, uh, cube generation. We need a separate server for that. Okay. So the advantage here is that uh, it will uh, retrieve the data very fastly. We can perform complex analysis, and the performance is very high. But the disadvantage is it takes a lot of time to build the cubes, and the high investment is required. So when you talk about the HOLAP tools, HOLAP tools is nothing but hybrid OLAP tools. So here you can directly fetch the data from the OLAP database as well as you can build the queues here. So HOLAP is a combination of R OLAP and the M OLAP. So for example, we have a micro strategy. Micro. So this is about uh, the different types of uh, OLAP tools that we have it uh, within the Within the so whenever you go for any project, uh, you may have uh, any of the uh, reporting tools uh, within the within your project. Okay.